Hey guys, this is Zeku 786 bringing you my first game trailer breakdown. To start us off, we have the recently released trailer for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I'm sure you've all seen the new trailer for the upcoming Dragon Ball game. It looks great considering it was an announcement trailer. Now let's start off with some things that we noticed in the trailer. We start off with an unclear image of what seems to, to be an upgraded Toki Toki City. I'm going to call it Mushroom Hub City until it gets an official name. Why a mushroom? Have you seen these mushrooms? They're freaking huge! Also if you notice in the bottom right corner there seems to be an area that looks like a place from Planet Namek. There are also Namekian houses there. Why is it there? We do not know at the moment. Towards the center right area, we see buildings that look like buildings from the West City map, from the original Dragon Ball Xenoverse game. A bit to the left from that, we have the Summon Shenron Temple. It's the place where you place all your collected Dragon Balls to summon Shenron so that he can grant you a wish. A bit to the left of this is what I call Memorial Center. I'll get to it later. Towards the left of that, we have a giant lookout. It looks a lot like, um... Kami's lookout? Why is it exact? Why is it in Mushroom Hub City right now? Well, we do not know at the moment, but we do see it several times later in the trailer. As we see later in the trailer, it is revealed that this whole place is fully explorable by both walking and flying, thankfully. Next, they show us a waterfall. I'm not sure if you can swim in this or not, but it will be pretty cool if you can. So if we can swim, it will get pretty crowded pretty soon. If you look through the trees in the upper right area, you can see the top of the lookout. This alone should clue in on how big this mushroom hub city is. There's not much to discuss in this one, but it is worth mentioning that some flags from the tournament area can be seen to towards the middle right of this picture. Now things are getting even more interesting. Just look at it. Now you know why I named it Mushroom Hub City. There also seems to be a castle like building up on the mountain. What's that up in the sky? We'll talk about it later. Now we get to the memorial center. There is so much going on here that I, even I don't uh, know what to talk about first. Well let's talk about the memorial first. It seems like a hologram of the original hero that Bandai used in their Dragon Ball Xenoverse trailers. It would be cool if this hero is varied in accordance to our save files from the from that game. I would love to see my uh, custom character here, wouldn't you? There are a few characters that we should talk about. Let's start off with this guy. The costume he is wearing is from the original game. Here is that costume. Here is a screenshot of that costume from that game. I tried to make the colors as close as possible to this guy. Now this might be something new to the game. Is that a purse? Whatever it is, I don't seem to remember it from the previous game. Now this is something to be excited about. The guy in the center seems to have a new hairstyle. It kinda reminds me of Vegeta's hairstyle but a little different too. Also his clothes, they are definitely new. Who do they remind me of? It also seems to be recolored. Is it possible that the game will allow us to color all our clothes? They better do that. I was disappointed to not be able to do that in the first game. I didn't play with the Namekian in Xenoverse, so I cannot really say if this is a new costume or not. I have seen this guy in Xenoverse several times. He seems uh, to be hovering in this area. So this is further proof that you can not only walk but also fly in Mushroom Hub City. And as for this guy, somebody call his mother. STOP STANDING ON ROOFTOPS! IT'S NOT ALLOWED! Now we finally get to this, um, whatever this is. It seems to be like a giant blue statue of Shenron. Why a statue? Because it isn't shown to be moving in the trailer. Our hero is also seen to be flying in front of him. Is it possible to reach him? I hope it is. I'm sure we can get cool pictures from there. Here is Mushroom Hub City from, a di from another angle. Moving on. A new hero is seen flying here. He is crossing the world tournament area. Upon zooming into the area, several people can be spotted down there. What are they doing? I have no idea. Now we get another view of memorial center area. 
The characters in this screenshot are not so different from their defo default clothes from the original game. And the difference here is that the hologram seems to be turned off. I wonder why that is. Here we have a new hero on top of an unknown building looking down at Mushroom Hub City. There's nothing new here that we ha haven't already discussed. Except for this. His clothes. They are definitely new. His hairstyle is old but his clothes are new. If I'm not mistaken, the logo on his shirt has the initials DP. This may be an abbreviation for Time Patroller which is pretty cool. Now we get to some in battle footage. This footage shows us something old, Nappa under the fluence of dark magic. This scene however is newly animated. Now we get to the new thing, Darban is new. The planet dynamic map is old. The Doria is new. The map is old. Turles is new. The map is old. Though Turles seems to have a weird orange glow on him for some reason. Is he charging an attack or is he making a fake moon? Could be anything. Giant slug is new. The map originally looks like it's new, but it is the same old map as the Night Mountains map from the original game. This may look old, but it is in fact new. How? In the original game, Goku is not wearing his blue shirt during this cutscene. In this one, however, he is wearing one, for whatever new reasons. The father-son Kamehameha is also slightly new. How? Gohan's clothes are not barrel damaged. This scene is a lot different from the original game. First of all, our hero is not here in the cutscene. Second of all, look at the sky. This is most likely Earth's sky map rather than it being the sky of the Supreme Kai planet. Now we get to the scroll of time. This one is heavily bursting from negative energy. Is Demigra returning or is Mira back with so much power that this scroll is making these weird effects? We'll know when the time comes. Here is something interestingly amazing. It's the Bardock special cutscene but it is very different from the original game. If you enter the game fully, you'll know that a Bardock was not present when Planet of Vegeta was destroyed by Frieza. This scene looks different from the updated game graphics and might actually be CGI. This is very powerful and I'm glad they're finally doing it properly. It's the history of Trunks special. This does confirm two things. One, we get Teen Future Trunks for the first time. Two, we are getting Future Gohan, although he seems to have both arms in this scene. I wonder why. Now we get to the most interesting part of this trailer. This text. And out comes you wished were different. These words speak volumes. I do not know what they properly mean, but what do you guys think they mean? I would like to hear your uh, thoughts on this. Thank you everyone for watching. Now if you like it, I may do another when the next trailer comes out. Until then, see ya!